I realized I never actually made an introduction for this video. So, you know, plan with me for January. In the middle of January. <laughs> Let's just dive right into the video. January plan with me. Now if you've been following my channel for a while you may have noticed that last year I attempted to do plan with me and then I quickly abandoned them. <laughs> I think I did like a January one and a February one and that was it but this year 2024 is our year of planning and being on top of everything so I really want to add plan with me to my channel and I also want to add like book reviews to my channel and yoga and meditation videos. That's a lot for 2024. Hopefully we'll get it all done. Also I want to tell you guys I was thinking of kind of doing different upload days besides like from Sunday and Wednesday just because on Sundays I also have my doula training and I teach yoga in person at um, Core Power Studio and it just seems like I'm doing too much work on Sundays and when I have an upload on Sundays I'm really tempted to work on Fridays and Saturdays to like edit it and get it up for you guys so I am thinking about changing my upload schedule in the new year. This coffee also was sent to me by Javi. I believe that's how you pronounce it. They're like this coffee concentrate company and it actually tastes really good. I do want like a flavor or something with it, but I think when I go to my workout today, I'm gonna pick up like flavored soy milk or oat milk and hopefully that will do the trick. Okay, things look a little bit different because I made breakfast, even though it's like 11.15. <laughs> And I had to, I realized when I was going to start screen recording that my laptop was gonna die. And then <laughs> I accidentally left my camera on for like the 20 minutes that I was allowing my laptop to charge and making breakfast. So now my camera's gonna die. But you know, we're just gonna keep going until the camera dies and I'll just film the rest of this on my phone. So, I'm gonna start new screen recording. And let's dive into my new Notion. Very excited about it. Again, I got this from Jenna Hong and I just updated it to make it black girl version and just like all of my vision boards and things I'm manifesting for this year. So I'd love to get to 5,000 subscribers on YouTube in 2024. Feel a leap because my goal for last year was a thousand and we didn't hit it, but I believe in us. We still have faith. <laughs> And then I just added pictures of my family. So this is like me and my brothers. Um, these are like locations I want to go to. One of my really good friends, Nikki, moved to Brazil. So I'd love to visit her in Brazil this year. Friends and family on my birthday. Um, YouTube, of course. I would love to go back to Paris. Paris. Paris was on my board for last year. I didn't go, but I did make it to London. So, you know, it'll happen one day when it's meant to happen. Um, romance, relationships, success, shot day, because why not? Octopus, because this is one of the best octopus that I had in the United States. Greece was actually where I've had the best octopus in my life, but like I love octopus, so I would love to get more into that. But let's go into January and just kind of get some of these things going. I mean, I don't know, do you guys want to check out my yearly goals? I feel like a year is way too big to have a goal. <laughs> but these are some of the goals that I have for this year. And I think I'm honestly going to make a separate video 
just talking about life after grad school and kind of like what I envision happening for myself. Um, as you guys can see here, I have like nine to five because I do think I'm going to have to get a job until I can get some things kind of up and going for my podcast and my YouTube channel and like all that fun stuff. And then just some reminders, like the universe is ready to make your dreams happen. And yeah, so I have like learned piano, singing lessons here, become conversational in Spanish because I'm actually going to a Spanish speaking country in February. And en español es muy bien por porque or porque no hablo español mucho. Entonces, mi español es como se dice slow, like it just takes me a while to comprendo espanol and also to speak in Spanish. So I want to come a little bit more conversational. I want to start budgeting stuff. I want to get a therapist, just going through all my personal goals right now, journal once a week, one first date per month, which I mean, the way these dating apps are set up, it's a struggle. Health and fitness, there's just some other things I want to do. So handstand, fallen angel, split. I also want to stay really on top of my iron supplements. Career, YouTube rebrand, I'm actually already working on that, so I'm really excited for that. Launch my, pro my podcast, get into a PhD program. I said that with a question mark because it's not really in my hands. Like I did everything I could do, and so now I just have to let go and wait and see. Launch my doula business, which I'll be certified in April and market yoga doula and coaching because i do want to start offering like life coaching in addition to doula stuff in april again and then also graduating because i graduate in may so we'll go more into kind of like my career and stuff in a separate video but those are kind of like what i'm thinking about right now when it comes to my goals love it's really big for me like i definitely want to get into a relationship i just don't know when that's going to happen or what that's going to look like, but I'm really hoping it happens in 2024. If not, I'll survive. <laughs> so my calendar, I don't really use this that much. And then this is honestly still in 2023 from December. And as you can see for January, I haven't really done anything for YouTube yet. <laughs> but hopefully I'll have that done by the end of this week. We're here. My camera's going to die, so... Let me switch out the battery that's been charging and then we'll pick this up. Okay, so I really like this section, the monthly goals and reflection. So I have the three categories, career, I want to have new YouTube branding. So that's just kind of everything that falls under there. And that's all being worked on and ready. I'm really excited to show you guys. I also want to film three podcast episodes. I've been talking about this podcast for a very, 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 very long time. So hopefully I can get that done in January and then apply to 10 jobs. I've actually already applied to three. So we're heading in the right direction there. I hope I can beat this because when it comes to landing corporate nine to five jobs, it's really just a numbers game. Like the more you apply, the better your chances are. So 10 is like my goal, but I'm ho I hope I get a little bit more than 10 in. Personal, I want to get a therapist again, so I want to interview three, three therapists. Have not even begun that. Speak 30 minutes of Spanish per day. <laughs> but it's only January 4th, so we have some time. We have some we have some goals. Journal once a week. I've been really good with that. Actually, I actually journaled twice so far. Budget for January, I also have been good at that. And it's so hard. I think I also want to make like videos about money in graduate school so if you're interested in that leave me a comment below but yeah budgeting when you're living off of student loans is like a mind fuck not gonna lie and then i want to find a piano teacher and figure out columbia financial aid which kind of goes hand in hand and we'll talk about that in a different video and then health and fitness Class pass, which I started my free month already, so I'm really excited about that. And then just getting back to going to sleep earlier, like I did not go to sleep early last night, but I did the night before and I woke up at 6.30 like the next day. So I'm like, if I get to sleep on time, I can wake up <laughs> on time. So I just need to have the self-discipline to do that. And then this is an end of month reflection, which obviously is the beginning of January, so we're not doing that now. 
weekly check-in, which I've honestly have just been using this as like my to-do list. So stuff from last week, I kind of did that. Checking in, I just feel really excited about the possibilities of the new year and new possibilities. I'm applying to two nine to five jobs, I actually applied to three, so I beat that. Posting two YouTube videos, don't know if that's gonna happen. <laughs> Getting back to workout and meal planning and then solidifying my financial aid for the spring, which is actually really high in my priorities, which you can see kind of down here, and I just still haven't done it yet. I actually sent them an email in December and I haven't heard back, so I just think I need to send them another email. And then finding like what I'm working on this week to get closer to my goals, just finding a new healthy routine, understanding what my life looks like for 2024 because my life is just going to change so much this year with me graduating and stuff. And I also was really excited. I got a Brooklyn Library card. I have some stuff for the UN that I need to do. Um, but yeah, filming my January plan with me. I'm gonna mark that complete because we're doing it now. This says captured in planner, but honestly, I'm just gonna change this to complete because I've just been using this as like a to-do list from being completely honest. And yeah, and then at the end, I have my vision board, nice and big and beautiful, and I just really, really love it. Random journal entries, I honestly don't like journaling on digital stuff. So I have a physical journal that I use, and uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be using this section too much. YouTube posting dates, I still need to do that. I have like two videos that I wanna do, actually three. But I usually post like eight videos a month. So I need to spend some time planning and brainstorming that. And there are so many requests that I've gotten and I have not been good at keeping up with them. So if you've asked for a video in like the last month, six months, yesterday, please leave it again down below in the comment section so I can actually start kind of keeping up with them. Knowledge management, such a great skill to have. Still working on it right now. YouTube brain dump. This is probably where I should keep the videos you guys request. <laughs> so hopefully I'll start doing that. Focus Hub, which is actually one of my favorite parts of this um, planning template. Like thank you so, so much, Jenna, for making this because this makes it so easy. I don't really do any of these like YouTube videos or playlists that are on the bottom here, but I literally, like, as you can see from finals, my psychology of law, sexualized violence, outline, presentation, final paper, studying for my nutrition exam, and then, like, my passives, like, I knock those all out utilizing this hub, so I really enjoy it. This is for my podcast, whenever we get rolling on it. As you can see, like, these are kind of scripts that I made, but I actually did record my introduction and my outro. I think the biggest roadblock for me right now is that I just don't know how to upload stuff onto like Apple Podcasts and Spotify, and that truly is the biggest roadblock. Like if I was just doing it on YouTube, I probably would have launched it already, but it's just so hard to do things that you don't know how to do. It's so hard to do things that you don't know how to do. Yeah. So once I actually figure out how to upload audio onto like podcast streaming services, we are going to be on and popping. But until I take the time to actually do that, it's gonna be a, 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 a doozy, a journey. Also, these are some of the episodes that I'm thinking of. Again, if you have any episode ideas, leave me a comment below, but yeah, so how to start meditation practice, how to manifest your dream life, tips for new yoga teachers, like I'm really excited about this stuff. 80-20 lifestyle is something that Jenna does about like food and nutrition. I'm actually really, really into nutrition. I took a nutrition class last semester, if you guys weren't aware. So I already eat pretty healthy. I don't really drink that much. I don't really think this really applies to me, but I do really want to start recording some recipes that I love in a digital format because I literally spent like three hours yesterday looking for this recipe that I made before. So I think I'll probably turn that 
this into that. Like this into just like a recipe hub versus like meal planning and tracking my stuff because I already kind of do that intuitively quite well. Therapy notes, still looking for a therapist. <laughs> so nothing there. Books and Media Hub, I have really enjoyed this tab. So I have all these books that I wanna read here. And then I just finished Verity by Colleen Hoover. Gave it like literally five stars. It's so, so good. And I do think I wanna do a book review on my channel about it. So stay tuned for that. Content trackers, which is honestly my favorite, favorite part. So I have been using originally something created by Alexis Eldridge. So she originally created this tracker. I've been using it when I moved my stuff into this new Notion template. I brought it with me because I really like it. And I typically track my YouTube the most. I don't really track anything else. So if we go into our Oh, it's right here. So my YouTube growth. So for January, I was at 867 subscribers. I have somehow lost two subscribers, <laughs> but what a happy you, it happens. But what I love, because I've been tracking it for so long, I can literally filter. How do I do this? Anyway, I, I'm gonna have to figure this out for the next video because my camera's gonna die and I don't want it to take forever. But as you can see here, in January of this year, I had 867, and then January of last year, I had 464. So I'm really excited just to see the growth year over year now that we've been doing this for so long. So yeah, that is it. I haven't really created a goal for growth for next month. So actually, maybe we'll go into monthly goals. I don't even remember the last time I did this. Okay, in August. So let's say for January, my subscriber goal, we're at 865 right now because I lost two subscribers. Um, let's do like 900 solid watch time, 29, and then views 45,000, like 145,000. I think that's fine. All right, cool. Yeah, and my camera's gonna die, so we're gonna wrap this up here, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me. I did want to get into my physical planner, but this camera's gonna die on me at any moment. So hopefully in February, I can introduce you guys to this. I really love these planners. This is actually from a plan called Plum Paper that has me in a chokehold darling because you can customize like literally everything about it and then you have these like cute little sections that I haven't used <laughs> for like monthly planning and monthly reflections that I also haven't used but hopefully in 2024 it'll be the year of planning and you guys can help keep me accountable I love you guys so much again my name is Nika make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, also I'll keep my link for the Hobby Coffee, which is actually really good in the <coughs> description box below and a link for Plum pla Paper Planner, whatever, if you want that, and the link for Jenna's Notion template. Yeah, wow, that was a night full. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you, bye.